What's up everyone, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to use Cold Turkey Blocker. So we're currently on getcoldturkey.com which is a Cold Turkey Blocker website and we're going to scroll down to see a few things. So we want to first of all get the download and at the top of course you can see download, we're going to click on it. Now it's going to take you to the pricing page where you can purchase the Blocker Pro for lifetime access. But of course, you can scroll a little bit down for the Blocker Free. So you can go ahead and click Download Blocker and it will start the download. Now, when you're done installing Cold Turkey Blocker, the next thing you'll need to do is to install extensions, right? So you have Edge, Chrome, Brave and Opera, right? So we're going to install it on Chrome, click Install. And here it says install Chrome extension. So we're going to click install blocker extension. And here you can see it's taken us to the Chrome web store. Cold Turkey Blocker, add to Chrome. So click on it, add extension. And when we click on the extensions button, you can see Cold Turkey Blocker. We're going to pin it so we can see it right there. And now we're going to go back to Cold Turkey Blocker, the app itself, and here you can see Chrome installed, right? You can close this. However, if you're using another browser like Brave, Opera, you could go ahead, of course, and install it. Now, when you scroll down, it says these are unsupported browsers, right? So these are browsers we don't want to use. So we're going to close this. And this is your Cold Turkey Blocker dashboard, right? So here you can see active blocks, today's upcoming blocks, summary of today's blocks. And then of course, on the left side, you can see blocks, statistics, and the settings, right? So let's try an example. We have active blocks. There are currently no active blocks. We're going to click on start a new block. And then we're going to click on new block. So we're going to look for a website to block for now. So behind us, we have yahoo.com and we're going to click on the browser, select the URL, select cold turkey paste the URL, click on add, and here we have yahoo.com, right? So you can add others if you want to or import them, right? So these are other options you could use, but we're just gonna be using the URL and we have one example here. Click save as, you can say block Yahoo. But of course, if this is a list of websites you want to block, you're going to need to name it yourself for easy organization. Then of course you wanna click on save, and here you can see block Yahoo. Blocked at all times, no breaks, all users, right? So it's currently toggled off. And let's say we want to toggle this on, right? So it's currently toggled on. And you can see at the background, this website is blocked, right? So we could refresh it as we want and it will remain blocked, right? So we could go again and turn it off. As you can see, it's turned off right now. Refresh the page and it's back on. Now there is something else you could do if you want to block Yahoo for some of your users. You can see right here, all users, click on it. You can see all users, all users except the following users, only the following users. And of course you could make some changes right here. But do take note that some of these features are for the paid plan. So you might want to switch up if you want to have some more functionality. So of course you can see statistics right here and you can see that a website has been blocked using the statistics. You could think of different ways to use Cold Turkey Blocker, but of course these are different metrics to help you out and you can go to settings, change the app theme, first day of the week, use 24 hour time, it's currently toggled off and some functionality settings such as moving the interface to system menu when closing the window. So when you close it, it won't completely close. You can see it in your taskbar, right? And of course you have show device blocks, show auto start options, etc. right? So we're happy that we've been able to show you how you can use Cold Turkey Blocker to block a website as easy as installing it, starting a new block, and adding the website or websites that you'd like to block.